Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now this is not going to be an in-depth review, it's more of a new product overview. And that's because this new product will feature in many videos to come, where I use this device to test spurious emissions on ham radio transceivers. So we'll find out what it's like as we use it over time. However, this is the new Tiny SA Ultra Plus. The main difference with this version is that it can observe signals right up to 12 gigahertz just like previous models, but the calibrated level is up to 7.3 gigahertz when in ultra mode. Now this differs from the previous versions where the calibrated level maxed out at around six gigahertz. So this plus version has that extra calibrated frequency range. As you would have noticed as I was doing the unboxing, you get a USB-C cable for charging the internal battery and using the computer software, along with two SMA terminated coax patch cables. You also get a plectrum style stylus to make using that touchscreen easier. You also get a little SMA adapter and a small telescopic antenna, which can be useful to use if you're hunting down local signals around your home or searching for that QRM. Now down the left side, we still find two SMA sockets, one labeled as RF and the other as CAL, presumably for calibration, which we'll do in a moment. Now on the top, there's an on and off switch along with a push button jog wheel, which can be used when in the menus. Now on the underside, there's a USB-C socket, which can be used with the included cable to charge that internal battery or control the Tiny SA Ultra Plus from a computer. There's also a micro SD card slot, which appears to already come with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And then next to this, there's a 3.5 millimeter socket, which is where you can connect some headphones to listen to certain demodulated signals. Now, according to the official Tiny SA website, there are two versions of this Tiny SA Ultra Plus. There's the ZS406 and the ZS407. The differences can be seen here on the website. Now, on the back of the Tiny SA Ultra Plus that I have here, we can see that this is the ZS407 model and that this model is made by Zinco and credit given to Eric, the original designer of the Tiny SA Ultra Plus. Now, when you first get this device, you'll want to perform the self-test and then the calibration. To do this, you need the two SMA patch cables and that SMA adapter to join those two patch cables together like this. Then attach the ends of the patch cables to the RF and CAL port on that Tiny SA Ultra Plus. Now, just power on the device and tap the screen. Press config and then tap on self-test. This will perform the self-test automatically and it may take a few minutes to complete. Now you will want to perform this test before performing the level calibration, just so that you know that the hardware is working as it should. Now, if you get any errors, you may need to look at returning the device, unless it's something you can fix yourself. And once finished, you should see a long list of tests and they should all be shown in green as a pass. So now we're ready to perform the level calibration. Leave the SMA patch cables connected to the device then tap the screen again. Now this time select config and then select level cal. As I will not want to measure anything above 7.3 gigahertz, I will select the top selection here and then tap on calibrate. Now this level calibration will take a bit longer than the self-test did, but it is an important procedure to perform to ensure that any readings that you're seeing are as accurate as possible. Once the calibration is finished, it will tell you on screen and then you can just touch the screen to continue to normal operation. Now as standard, this device will cover from 0.1 to 900 megahertz. And if you want to go above this, then you'll need to enable ultra mode. You can enable an ultra mode in the menu, but you will need to visit a website to get the unlock code. Now, if you're familiar with this device or previous versions, then you will most likely know what that code is. Now, if you do not know what this device is used for, let me just quickly explain. So essentially, the Tiny S8 Ultra Plus is a spectrum analyzer. It allows you to visualize radio waves. By plugging in the included antenna into the RF port and setting the frequency range to around 800 megahertz, we can see some rather strong signals. In fact, these are transmissions coming from mobile phones and local cell towers. If we change the frequency to around five gigahertz, we can see the signals coming from my home Wi-Fi router on the five gigahertz band. Now this feature could be used to track down signals that might be coming from around the home, interfering with other devices, specifically ham radio transceivers. 
Another really useful feature, which is the feature I always use these devices for, is the harmonics measuring feature. This allows me to see if a signal from a transmitter is also transmitting high levels on the harmonic frequencies. If I enable the harmonic measuring feature while the antenna is connected, you'll see lots of peaks and signals which are being picked up locally from other devices. Now, in my opinion, this is not the way to measure harmonics as there's just too much interference from other devices. So to ensure that you're only viewing harmonics from the device under test, you must use attenuators and a direct cable connection to the RF port on the tiny SA Ultra Plus. Now just remember the maximum RF input on these devices is plus six dBm. Never go above this, otherwise you risk damaging the device. Now this is why we use attenuators between the device under test and the tiny SA Ultra just to protect it. Now I do not have a lab grade signal generator or lab grade spectrum analyzer to compare this to or to really test the new expanded frequency range of the tiny SA Ultra Plus. So if you've tested this specific device, then let us know down in the comments. Now, not being funny, but I do not want to hear about previous versions of this product. So please don't talk about your experiences with the previous versions in the comments. I'm only interested in this plus version as it will keep any discussions on topic of this video. Now, if you're interested in one of these, I will leave a link in the description as to where I got this from. There might also be a coupon code to save some money, but if it's not there, then maybe it's expired. Anyway, guys, just want to say a massive thank you to all of those that watch my videos, especially my YouTube members and my Patreon members as well. You guys really help me get the products I need to create videos on. Until the next video, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.